does this draw a line under it? The share price seems to think so, Ray. Yeah, absolutely. I think it definitely does. I mean, this has been one of those sagas that's been rumbling on for quite some time. Earlier this year, the share price was 60 euros. It's well up from those 2012 lows of around 30 euros. So um, I think the markets are hoping that this is the end of the matter. I think my biggest concern really going forward, Axel, is not so much the fine. Um, I think, you know, BMP can absorb that over time. I think the damage obviously is to first and foremost their reputation but it's also the damage to the US business from this ban on dollar denominated clearing. All right um, I want to put this in the context of of, of what else we've heard this week mm. and that is Barclays and dark pools. Um, you know I, I guess questions are now being asked mm. dark pools at other banks like BMP Paribas, you know, mm. do they exist? Uh, is Barclays, is this investigation now just the beginning and does it open a can of worms? Well, that's the thing, isn't it? I mean, as you quite rightly said, Barclays dark pool um, investigation could actually throw up some other cockroaches that sort of can crawl out from under a stone and start winking at you. Every time we get one of these banking scandals, the temptation really is to think, well, that's it, let's draw a line under it and move on. And then suddenly we get something like this. Fortunately for BMP, they're not in the top 10 um, dark pool liquidity providers. But nevertheless, I think until the uncertainty surrounding this probe, and as well as the ongoing FX probe, and let's not forget about that one as well, mm. I think until the uncertainty over the, those particular probes is removed, then I think you know, banking shares are going to remain very, very volatile in the short to medium term. All right. Um, economic data, we've had China PMIs out. These look mm. pretty good. ISM in the US uh, today, we've got PMIs out of mm. Europe. ECB, of course, on, uh, on Thursday. Um, ECB cuts rates, the euro keeps going up, yeah. um, the, the economy continues to waver, hasn't really done the trick, has it? No, it hasn't. I mean, you'd expect the ECB to cut rates and the euro to be lower. It's in fact pretty much back where we started at the beginning of last month and Mr Draghi must be pulling his hair out. And I think really the bigger concern here is not so much what's going on in Europe, it's really what's going on in the US and the strength or otherwise of the US economy. The reason the dollar's so weak at the moment is essentially because the perception is that they're going to keep low rates for longer, yet inflation in the US is higher than here in the UK.